I'm Tony Sklar with BNet TV. We're here at Barcelona's Mobile World Congress 2011. I'm speaking with Mr. Brian Wood of Continuous Computing. How are you today, sir? Great, Tony. How are you doing? Fantastic. This is always a wonderful conference at the beginning of the year. Super technologies being showcased here. And I, we're seeing a lot of connected life devices. We're seeing a lot of growth in the GSM area. Continuous Computing, been in the business for a little while. you got a great footprint. Why don't you give us a brief overview of the company and why you're here? You bet. So Continuous Computing is in the telecom area infrastructure space. What that means is we make the hardware and software that goes in the wireless networks to deliver the services like high-speed data, mobile internet, uh, things of that nature on iPhone, Blackberry, iPad, etc. So uh, what we do, and we've been around for about 13 years, private company based in the U.S., but about 400 people worldwide, is, is telecom infrastructure. It's hardware platforms, it's software that goes in the networks to enable the network equipment providers to deliver their products faster to the wireless operators. So you're the, you're, you're you're the one that everybody relies on and the one that everybody kvetches about at the end of the day when they can't get the data working? Well, no, not at all. We're, we're, <laughs> they, no, they no, we're not on us, but we're not, the par the, we're not part of the problem. We're not the congestion. Right, right, exactly. No, it used to be that companies would make everything themselves proprietary, their own design, so product from company A might not necessarily interoperate with company B, but now everything is moving to standards-based platforms, and so we make those standards-based platforms. So what that means is our customers can focus on the application software, the higher level type things, which is really where the value and differentiation is. Um, Brian, why don't, you, why don't we uh, grab right into your recent press announcement because it was fairly exciting. Absolutely. So big announcement for us and for the industry is uh, we have uh, announced that we're working with 10 silicon giants. So companies like Broadcom, MindSpeed, Freescale, Qualcomm, uh, uh, 10 of them, they're all using our Trillium protocol software. So uh, what that is, is is a lower level software that integrates with their silicon to deliver what are called small cells, femtocells, cells, pico cells, micro cells, etc. So the whole concept here is that macro cells, the cell towers at the side of the road and everything, are starting to go by the wayside in, in being replaced by these smaller cells, things that go in the home, in the business, in the uh, open areas to deliver services to basically offload traffic from the macro networks. So the big deal is that all 10 of these giants are working with us in our software to deliver these next wave of products to the market. So, you know, four or five years ago when Pico and Femto was uh, just talk in the market space, you know, you know, people were starting to get a little bit of a buzz. Last year we saw some of the first pieces of equipment actually sink into the market from a consumer level and an enterprise level. And uh, as of this year, we're seeing many more products being delivered and the growth factor is that great hockey stick look. So with those devices, is those that infrastructure being put into the marketplace then you know what does that mean for a company like continuous computing oh that's huge for us so the market literally is doubling every year for femtocells and projected to do that for the next few years many of these products are using our software so that's of course great for us but it's great for the market in general because it's 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 expanding the pie, so to speak. So these femto so the whole idea is that there's so much traffic on the macro networks, it needs to be offloaded to these smaller cells. They're all using our software, so that's great for us. I mean, uh, us as a business overall, we don't do only do software, we do hardware as well. But as a business, we're growing like 35% year over year. So it's a very exciting time for us. So those are really great growth numbers. Uh, I had a chance to speak with uh, an analyst just, uh, just a little while ago, and we were talking a lot about the growth of the industry within you know from now until 2015 and he was projecting somewhere around uh, 10 billion connected devices that puts a company like yours right in the forefront absolutely absolutely so 10 billion Ericsson has talked about 50 billion devices you know as as everything gets connected these mobile to mobile type con connections everything is wired to the internet everything has an IP address I mean for us it's ideal because we're at the center of all this telecom infrastructure you know we make the products that go to deliver these services for the for the communications so, you know, everything is standards-based. We develop those products, so it, it's great for us. Um, what were some of the hurdles or challenges that Continuous Computing had within the previous 24 months that's going to help that growth factor within the next 24 months, especially when we talk about, you know, standards? Sure. So, uh, the whole wireless world is moving to LTE. So, this is a very big change for the industry. In the past, there have been a lot of competing wireless standards. Well, now everyone is converging on LTE. What that means is that the, the market size, 
potential and the, the demand for those products is so huge that it's important to be there with the technologies you know, well in advance of when the products need to be ready. So what that meant for us is there's a huge development effort that we had to take on you know, two, three, four years ago to, to be ready for that. And we did that, we worked hard, we doubled down our investment, and, and we're there, we have the product. So just to, to demonstrate, we've got 26 femtocell customers, we've got 19 LTE customers, we've got 21 DPI or deep packet inspection customers. I mean, this all reflects the investment we've made in the last few years, so it's, it's definitely paying off. I was just going to say, so it's really good to see stuff like that paying off. And